Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I wanted to come on here today and talk to you about the Korean glass skin trend. And this is a skincare trend that originated in Korea about five years ago, and it made its way over to the United States, and women started purchasing a lot of different Korean skincare to try to achieve this luminous, bouncy, healthy, well-nourished skin that is even toned and appears poreless by using these Korean products. Well, in true American form, many American companies have jumped on board and started creating their own line of products. And many are very accessible and affordable at Ulta and the drugstore. And then of course, the French brands, Caudalie and Lancome jumped on board. And these products are everywhere now. So my question was, can a woman who is heading into menopause and beyond achieve these glass skin results by using these kinds of skincare products. And so I started doing some research and I started playing around with my skincare. And some of these products I found that I had already been using because they are everywhere, like I said, they're in the drugstore, they're at Ulta. Um, of the past few months, Ulta had a lot of these hyaluronic acid infused gel and antioxidant products at the forefront of the store. So when you walked in, you saw them and I had unknowingly purchased them and they are fabulous, but I didn't really realize that there was a whole trend created around this or if it was inspired by a trend. I hope that makes sense. So I am just going to do a quick products that you could use as a mature woman that can help your skin look more luminous, bouncy, well-nourished, even toned, and help us achieve results that may not look like glass skin, but will definitely help our skin look more youthful and radiant. So here I go. The first thing that is very popular in this trend is the double cleanse. I was never into the double cleanse. I didn't understand it. Being an oily skin girl, I thought, why would I put on an oil-like substance on my skin and then clean it off with a gentler substance or product? I was afraid it would just clog up my pores and I was really not wanting to get on board. But I did receive a sample of the Clinique Take the Day Off and I have fallen in love with this product. Lori from Pride and Photos Beauty and Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats and many other women have talked about this product on their channel and subliminally it's gotten into my head and so I did go ahead and start using it and I love it. What this product will do for you is dissolve the oils and anything kind of clogging up your pores or not even clogging, just sitting in there and dissolving it. So then when you go in with your second cleanse, which would be something gentle, and it would be something like the Neutrogena Hydra Boost, which I absolutely love. And for Mother's Day, I did receive the Energy DV line of products from Lancome and it came with a lovely cleanser. I hope you can see that. There we go. A lovely cleanser that is very gentle and these cleansers have a slip to them. So you, they feel different than a cleanser that is like a deep cleanser where you would you feel like your skin is just squeaky clean. It does leave my skin feeling super clean, but they're a little there's a, like it feels like there's a slip to them when you're using them. So I did notice that. So difference. I will just do my first cleanse prior to getting in the shower. So I would start with a face of makeup like I have on right now, and I would go in with either the Clinique Take the Day Off or the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. And this is wonderful. This has antioxidants in it, and it has fruit and botanical extracts. It has rosehip oil, vitamin C, grapeseed and jojoba oil. And you just use this all over your skin and it will remove every trace of makeup. So then once I'm in the shower, I'll go in with my Hydra Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel and remove everything else, all the oil or the take the day off. Whatever I used for my first cleanse, I will remove and then wash it off with the Hydra Boost. So that seems to be very effective in cleaning my face and it does not feel like it's stripping the oils from my skin, which I really love. And the next step in the routine would be to use some sort of 
alpha hydroxy acids or beta hydroxy acids on your skin. Um, I am a Retin-A user, so I am gonna give this to you in the context that it is not a Retin-A night for me. I'm just showing you what, I use Retin-A three nights a week. So the other four, I would follow this routine. Then the next thing I would do is go in with something like this, Alba Botanicals Good and Clean Fruit Acid Infusion Dual Textured Exfoliating Wipes. One side of this wipe has alpha hydroxy acids on it, and I would wipe it all over my skin, and then I would flip the wipe over, and the other side has a bumpy, sandy kind of texture on it, but it's not overly harsh at all. And I just kind of go around and make sure my skin is well exfoliated. So this would be a nightly, even on my Retin-A nights after I wash my face, I would use these every night. The next thing I would do once a week is in the shower, use my Trader Joe's Blueberry and Asaya Facial Scrub. So when I'm in the shower once a week, I would use this scrub to help just exfoliate any dead skin cells because exfoliation for a mature woman is key. And the more fruit acids, alpha hydroxy acids, things like that that we use gently throughout the week to help break down the bonds that are holding dead skin cells on, the more our skin cells are turning over. Because if you don't have those dead skin cells sitting on your skin, then your serums and other products can penetrate your skin a little bit better or a lot better. So that's why you wanna keep alpha hydroxy acids and exfoliation in your routine, especially if you're not a Retin-A user. I think it would be very, very important. Even if you are a Retin-A user, you still wanna break those bonds and keep that skin turning over because that's how young skin behaves. And so that is gonna be a step to help your skin look more even textured and brightened. So you don't wanna skip that one. Then the next thing in the Korean skincare trend is that they say, Say to use a hydrating toner to reset your pH and hydrate your skin. And you're not just going to go over your skin one time with your toner. They recommend doing it seven times. So I have this Dickinson's Hydrating Toner, which is very accessible and affordable at your superstore or at Walgreens. And this is going to keep your skin very well nourished and hydrated and reset your pH. And this won an award by Vogue magazine for whatever that's worth. But you would take like a cotton ball and put some of the toner on it and go over your skin a few times. And then when the cotton ball has absorbed a lot of it or whatever you use to apply your toner, put a little more on and go over it several more times. That's what I do. And I find that that's kind of like seven times and it does help my skin reset the pH and absorb the hydration from the hydrating toner that you're putting on. So it does leave my skin feeling very, very soft. And I do notice a difference, um, especially compared to if I were to use a witch hazel or um, a toner that doesn't have hydration in it. Another one that is very good that came in my kit from Lancome is the Energy Devi um, toner, and it's a hydrating liquid that resets your pH, and again, does basically the exact same thing as this one, and this one's more affordable, but since I have this one, I'm using yeah. it. Essences are very, very popular in Korean skincare, and all an essence is is a spray that is full of fruit acids, um, botanicals, um, it might have some alpha hydroxy acids in it, or it might have some matrixyl 3000 or peptides. It's just going to have good ingredients in it. And I think key is the fruit and botanical extracts to make it qualify as an essence. And what I find that these do, if I were to notice anything other than feeling good, is that when I use a facial oil on my skin, and one that I really love a lot is the Palmer's facial oil, not the cleanser that I showed you, but the little oil, and I'll link it in the description box, and the Derma E Illuminating Cranberry and Rosehip Oil. This is my favorite one right now. And when I put this beneath my eyes, my subscriber friend Carla told me about this. I put it on my skin, and then if you spritz it with the rose water, it sinks in. It's like it'll help your skin drink it up. And it's a great way to use a facial oil together with a essence. So this is big in Korean skincare. And it helps my skin look really good because 
there's fruit extracts in this and then you're using the rose water and together it just helps your skin really look brighter and more luminous so you'll have an oil and an essence now the next thing is a matter of preference and you can find wonderful products at the drugstore garnier has a beautiful line and so does neutrogena and when i walked up and down the aisles at the drugstore doing a little bit of research i found that nearly every brand has their answer to this korean glass skin trend and so mother's day my family knows that i love lancome and they purchased the energy de v line for me and the energy de v line it looks like this it's in the green jars they are designed to work symbiotically with other Lancome products. This is an anti-fatigue illuminating product that is full of alpha hydroxy acids, fruit and botanical extracts, and it just basically is the next step in the process, and it is designed to work symbiotically with the Lancome Genifique, and the Genifique is designed to brighten your skin and it's designed to work well with the Visionaire, which helps improve your skin texture. So the three products are designed to work very well together. If you don't want to go out and get Lancome products, that's okay. If you go to the drugstore, many lines are designed to have an alpha hydroxy acid, hyaluronic acid products, illuminating products that all work together to help you create this glass skin to the best of your ability. Next thing I do is I always want to help lighten any unevenness in the color of my skin. I do have freckling from my youth and I have it on my cheeks here. And I find a very effective treatment for that is the Palmer's Skin Success Fade Cream. And this has a 2% hydroquinone in it and it is very gentle on my skin and i use this every night of the week even when i use retin-a and i just put it over whatever skin products because it is a thicker cream and it's the last step for me um, i don't use it every day beneath my makeup but i do use it at night and i have done a little experiment where i put it on my hands um, just as a lotion and it has really helped fade some age spots that i'm getting on my hands so it i can attest that it really does work and i like that the hydroquinone is at a relatively low dose it's two percent it's over the counter so you don't need to be as careful as if you were using um, a four percent or higher which my skin cannot tolerate so i'm really thankful that i was able to find this fade cream and I think it's very effective. The next thing that you could do, and I'm not going to touch on makeup too much here, but Neutrogena also makes the Hydra Boost Hydrating Foundation. And this is a beautiful hydrating foundation that is just another step in the process and it helps my skin look bouncy and luminous and I love it. The most important step in this whole process is going to be your sunblock. And I do have a Korean sunblock here and it's PREM. This is what it looks like, and I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but Korean sunblocks do block more rays than sunblocks we have here in the United States. And I really love this one beneath my makeup because it dries down just very in a very lovely way, and it doesn't mess up my makeup. So I really like this one a lot, and I would highly recommend it, and I'll link it in the description box. Another sunblock, if you don't like to wear sunblock beneath your makeup, it's a sunblock that I think is fantastic and I really love a lot, is the Super Goop Setting Mist Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And it looks like this. And it smells like rosemary and mint. It is just lovely. It sets your makeup, but when you put this on, you are going to want to put your hair up in a towel or a shower cap when you put it on because if this gets in your hair, it will make your hair feel horrible. I just wanted to tell you that because I have not had a good experience getting this in my hair. 
And, um, and another thing that's very important and that you can do is just use a powder sunblock. You could use any of those mineral sunblock powders that are so popular now, and I'll link my favorites in the description box, or you can just use something like the It CC Powder 50 Plus SPF and put this over your makeup and it will powder your makeup and make it look really lovely and you're also getting your SPF. And then if you touch it up during the day, you're just getting more SPF and this does not make your face look cakey even when you reapply it. So there's that. I think incorporating these products into my skincare has helped my skin look more youthful. I feel like my cells are moist and plumped and I just feel a little bit better. So anyway, I wanted to share this Korean glass skincare trend with you and just share some ways that I've been trying to incorporate the ingredients into my daily routine. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them in the comment section and I'll see you on my next video. Have a blessed and beautiful day.